Hello guys. In this video I'm going to do some work on this Dell uh, E5500. Uh, we got it from uh, eBay, me and a work colleague. It's basically in a pretty good shape, but it was uh, really cheap because uh, it doesn't have a hard drive or uh, the caddy for the hard drive. So, uh, yeah, people don't uh, seem to want it without the caddy. And just another small minor thing, it has uh, cracked plastic here, basically uh, it's missing a little, a little bit of plastic, but the latch is unaffected and is still uh, working correctly, so yeah, we couldn't care less about that, and the rest of it is in perfect shape. <laughs> Let's see what we can do about the missing uh, caddy and hard drive, of course. Let me just try and uh, not get my hand in the way. Okay, uh, some of this one, uh, of these uh, bottom parts uh, come up. And some of them slide. If you don't see an area where you can put your finger and pull it up, most likely it will slide like this. And that's about it. So yeah, it has 2 gigs of RAM, Wi-Fi of course, and everything else seems uh, in decent uh, shape. But no hard drive and no caddy. Well, that is not really a problem for me, and let me just show you why. Basically, I have a 160 gig hard drive laying around. It's not very big, but uh, for what this uh, uh, laptop will do, it's more than enough. And I have a caddy from another uh, Dell. Basically, it's pretty close to what it should be, but it's not quite. Uh, these two flaps are a little bit too long. So I'm actually going to cut them a little bit until they fit uh, correctly in these two holes here. And then probably I will make this, this hole uh, a little bit bigger or actually longer in the, uh, on the uh, uh, inside. So I can put uh, the screws here. If I cannot do that, uh, yeah, it's not really important. I will put uh, some kind of spacer and uh, it will push uh, up against the cover and it will stay in place. But uh, yeah, with the screws it would be even better. So next I'm going to cut this with uh, something like this. But I will not do this uh, on video because I would like to to measure a little bit to make sure that I don't cut it uh, badly. So I'll be back in a moment. As you can see we are good in this direction, but it doesn't go all the way in this direction. So basically I need to cut just a little bit from this lower part. From this, if you didn't see, probably it was too high. Okay, guys, finished. This, this, and this uh, line up perfectly. So I will put uh, only three screws. I will not use the fourth one, but it is not absolutely uh, necessarily to to use it. So yeah, it will be great like this. So let's put the hard drive in and search for some screws. Okay, let's do this. Basically, I will put the hard drive in. Okay, it's in position. I will put the screws on the hard drive. These are uh, larger screws, they have a pretty big uh, thread on them. Okay, 
and because I only found uh, two screws I will actually use one here and one in, in diagonal to it but now let me see if I can actually put this hard drive in because I've never tried this with a hard drive and it does not really seem to like it or actually it does and we are in position if I will find uh, another screw in the end I will put even the third one but I uh, I have a hunch that I will not find one <laughs> Okay, this is tightened. Yeah, it's it's in position. You basically lift the laptop. And let me just screw this one here. What I just did, it's not really highly recommended because I didn't remove the battery. But working on the hard drive yeah, it's not le uh, on the same level as working with the memory, but it is still better to remove the battery. I forgot. So yeah, now it's a little bit too late because the hard drive is already... So this is securely put in place. Let's basically put this cover back. Hopefully it will slide. Don't really know where it has the the latching mechanism okay it's slid into place and we are good to go so at this point I'm yeah somebody <laughs> once tried to force this open from what I can see here maybe you can see this too he didn't know that this has to be slid so yeah what can I do hopefully I'm going to get the charger and uh, power this on and then put Windows Vista on it because it has a Vista license so let's see how that goes ah, sorry moving the camera like a uh, more. and we're in basically it sees the 160 gig hard drive 2 gigs of RAM and that's about it battery seems uh, to be charging I'm just going to do some uh, some BIOS settings just uh, to make sure that everything is uh, running smoothly and then I'm going to put, I have a Vista image from another uh, Dell laptop. I will write that onto this hard drive and just uh, change the serial key to the one on this laptop. So that should go pretty easily. It has uh, started up perfectly. It's going to try and install some drivers. As you can see it will not find most of them. I'm going to download, install them and then change the key and that should be about it from what I see at this point. Ok guys, all drivers installed perfectly. It is working really really well despite the fact that it only has 2 gigs of RAM. Probably the hard drive being uh, a black one. Uh, it's a little bit uh, faster, Western Digital Blacks uh, are uh, quite fast, if you can say about uh, the uh, laptop hard drive that it is fast, yeah, faster than others, so yeah. Now I'm going to just enter the new Vista key, I clicked on this, as you can see Vista saw that uh, I copied it to, to another computer and hopefully it will activate. and we are activated and uh, yeah this laptop is working way better than expected 
and basically it was a bargain bargain bar yeah can't really pronounce that word but it was a great deal so yeah guys thanks for watching if you have any questions feel free to ask in the comments check out my other videos give this video a like subscribe and see you again next time bye